Hi, welcome to a new section of this course. Where in the world? Geospatial analysis. In this section, we cover videos to perform the most common operations, that is, getting geospatial data into R and visualizing such data. R provides packages to process and visualize geospatial data, such as SP, Map Tools, Maps, and R Google Maps packages, and etc., providing necessary features. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with downloading and plotting a Google map of an area. In this video, we'll use our Google Maps to plot Google Maps of a specific area based on longitude and latitude. Before beginning, we'll first install the our Google Maps package using this command. As you can see, the package is being installed. To download and use Google Maps of an area, we first need to load the R Google Maps package as shown here. Next, we'll determine the latitude and longitude of the location for which you need a map. In this video, you'll get the map for the neighborhood of Seton Hall University in New Jersey, USA. The location is 40.742634 degree latitude and minus 74.246215 degree longitude. We'll get the static map from Google Maps using this code. Here, the getMap function is used to acquire and store the map in an R variable called shu.map. The zoom option controls the zoom level of the return map. Zoom equals 1 option gives the whole world, and zoom equals 17 covers an area approximately a quarter of a mile on each side. The plot on static map function is used to plot the map. Here we've acquired and stored the map in an R variable. However, we can store it as an image file as well. We also have several options for the kind of map we can download. The first option is saving the downloaded map as an image file. To do this, we'll use the dest file option to save the downloaded map as an image file as shown here. When the code is executed, the image is saved. Here, the get map also supports other formats such as PNG and GIF. Next option is getting a satellite image. By default, getMap returns a roadmap. You can use the map type argument to control what is returned by using this code. Here, we're plotting the satellite image by specifying the map type as satellite. The getMap used here supports other map types, such as roadmap and terrain. In this video, we plotted Google Maps of specific areas using our Google Map package. 